What's up guys? Today we're gonna hit support your local box fundraiser workout number two. Four time, 100 double unders, 21 burpees, 75 double unders, 15 burpees, 50 double unders, and nine burpees. Um, I'm gonna do the standard burpee, chest to deck, clap the hands overhead, make sure your shoulder, hip, and knee are all in line when you jump. And then I'm actually gonna use a heavy rope to make it just a little bit more difficult for me. The time cap's 15 minutes. I should be able to get it done and under that. Um, so, Looking at it right now, I think this is probably going to be a pretty, pretty gnarly burner. It's going to be, it's going to go pretty fast. No real room to uh, slow down or take any breaks in there. But uh, let's do this, and I'll let you know how it goes at the end.
Whew, that was a good one. Uh, another fun one, fast burner. Uh, the heavy rope definitely caught me by surprise. Uh, blew up my arms a little bit more than I expected, especially with the burpees. I think I finished right around in 5'11", 5'12", with a little shoe malfunction. My shoes came untied part way through it. But what I would recommend, this is definitely a workout, you just go for it. Um, you can pace out your burpees appropriately so that you maybe don't break up your double unders if you've got a little bit more double under skill. Um, but this is, isn't one that you wanna do a whole lot of pacing with. This is definitely one that I think you can kind of grip and rip a little bit and just really stomp the gas pedal, red line, out the gate and try to hang on at the end. You know, figure, find something out. Maybe you're not confident that you can do that. Try it anyway, see what happens. You have to be able to figure out where those limits are and figure out um, at what kind of rep count, what kind of movements where uh, that fatigue sets in so bad that maybe you went out a little bit too hot. So I would say definitely risk that on this one. Um, I'm glad I did all 100 of my first set unbroken. If I would have had a regular rope, definitely would have just tried to go unbroken on it. When you take a break on your double unders, it's important to know when you should go again. Like when, when should I, when are my arms recovered? When are my legs recovered to the point where I can start rattling off another set of double unders? And for me, you know, you kind of feel uh, some of the fatigue kind of drain out of your arms. Some of that burn kind of goes away. I try to start again right before it's all the way gone, right? Uh, so not to the point where I can't really feel anything or any more pain or fatigue in my arms. But right before that, I wanna start doing my double unders again, start doing my burpees again, start doing whatever movement that is again. Because even though you have that little bit of burn in you, that little bit of rest that it took to get just that little bit recovered is gonna be enough for you to keep cranking on your double unders and end up being a little bit faster than taking those huge, huge rest sets. But yeah, great workout, fun one. Uh, remember, support your local box fundraiser. Check it out down in the bio. Donate if you can. If not, just do the workout and support that way. Hope you guys enjoyed it.